Thank you for clicking on this video. Welcome to episode number five in the series where we are modding the Squire Sonic Series Bronco Bass to make it as good as we can get it. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the EMG S4 guitar pickup. Drops right into the Bronco. Let's check it out. The EMG S4 pickup was designed and intended for use in an electric guitar. And the size of the pickup shell fits right into a single coil sized Stratocaster pickup. So when I looked at it, I thought this would be a perfect drop in replacement for the Bronco bass. The S4, unlike the other S series, uh, doesn't have the six pole pieces uh, like an electric guitar pickup normally would. This one has two rails. So this is similar to the Music Lily hot rail that uh, I featured at the beginning of the series and also the Seymour Duncan hot rails as well. So it has two pickup uh, bars that run lengthwise across the pickup. So I was really hoping this could just drop in and work like the Seymour Duncan did. Installation was a breeze. And if you are familiar with any modern day EMG, you don't need a soldering iron. Everything uh, clips in, in a very brilliant wiring harness system. The pickup shell was slightly larger uh, than the stock pickup shell, so you did need to kind of wedge the shell through the pick guard, but it does fit without any modification. The output jack, however, was one size larger, so I did need to enlarge the hole a tiny little bit to make the output jack fit. Now, I have been a fan of EMG pickups for a long time. In fact, in the late 90s and early 2000s, I gigged exclusively with an EMG-equipped bass, and I loved that bass, and I played at the bits. So I was really excited and hoping that this drop-in S4 pickup would really make this Bronco shine. We did run into a problem, however. Even though everything fit and installed properly, on this Bronco bass, I did run into some string-to-string -string balance issues. Now, this is a single pickup, so you can't adjust uh, each individual pole piece. You can only slant it from side to side. Let me demonstrate the problem we ran into here. So volume all the way up, tone all the way up. Let me just run a chromatic scale going down for you and I'll show you what I mean. As I hope you can hear, there is a significant volume drop on the low E string. The A, D, and G strings sound pretty balanced with each other, but less so with the low E. So that's a pretty obvious reduction in volume. I think I have a potential explanation as to why. If you look at this diagram from EMG here, you will see that the length of the magnet bars extends to right around where the pickup shell begins to curve. Now, if you look here, I think the edge of the magnetic bar is just under that low E string, but doesn't go past it. And I think as a result of that, the low E string is sitting just right on the cusp, if not slightly outside of the magnetic field of the pickup. And as a result of that, I think you're getting that volume drop on the low E string. Now you may be asking, well, why did that happen with the Seymour Duncan or the Music Lily? If you look at the Seymour Duncan, you can tell that the length of that magnet, it goes a few millimeters past the start of the curvature of the pickup shell. 
So I think we were able to get away with it on the Seymour Duncan hot rail because the low E string was still within that magnetic pickup field. Unfortunately, this massive drop in volume on the low E string will make this a deal breaker for me. Uh, what bass player doesn't use the low E string? And if there's that volume drop, it's gonna be pretty hard to play evenly with a good technique across all four strings. I do need to point out that the use of these guitar style rail pickups is quite an off-label use. It was never intended to be put into a Bronco bass uh, or for any bass for that matter. It was intended for a Stratocaster style guitar with a single coil size pickup shell. So even though it drops into the Bronco bass, I'm gonna say the EMG S4, I don't think it's gonna work for me and I would not suggest putting it into your Bronco bass. I think there are other drop-in replacements such as the, the hot rail that would work better for this off-label purpose. But otherwise, I like the tone of the A, D, and G strings. I just don't like what it does on a low E. I think given uh, my experience with this drop and pickup, I think the next step on this Bronco bass mod is actually route out the body cavity for a precision style pickup. Maybe I do that later on in the series. Well, stay tuned for the next few episodes. Thanks so much for watching this one. Peace.